Hello, my VR friends. Holiday season is just around the corner, and so um, a lot of you might be weighing your options. Should you get a PC VR headset? Should you get a Quest 2 headset? Um, or what should you do if you're actually gifted Quest 2, but you can't stand Facebook, right? What, what do you do then? So before you make up your mind, you should know there's a third option, test accounts. So these test accounts let you log into your quest and run it in a sort of a developer mode, which while not perfect is definitely better than nothing, right? You get access to SideQuest store, you do get access to some core functionalities. Um, and before I go any further, let me just say, all credit goes to Scared Ghost, who reported on this feature in early November. So it's through his post that I first learned that such an option even exists. So kudos to him. And I've included a link to his article in the description below. So go and check it out. And um, what I'm attempting to do here is just testing this little known feature on a brand new quest. So a quest that has not been paired before, that has not been connected to a real Facebook account and see if we can still get it to work effectively bypassing the need for a Facebook account altogether, right? Um, arguably the most controversial part of the whole setup. Well, and as you can see, I'm being immediately asked to enter my pairing code into the companion app. And in order to configure my companion app, I need to first enter my Facebook details. You do not get any option to enter guest account details or test account details. So I feel some people might get a little bit confused here, but you actually what you have to do is select connect with Facebook and then enter the details provided on the developer page. In my case, Cyberboy2077 plus some affixes. Um, this should let you enter the pairing code, put your quest in a developer mode and just do all the stuff that you could normally do. And as you can see, now I'm being asked to set up my guardian system. So it works, no jailbreaking or um, or rooting required. Um, it works straight out of the box. And inside we can see standard Oculus shell, right? We see the store, all the promotions going on, and mm, we, but we cannot buy anything and uh, that also includes all free apps unfortunately we, we you cannot install those and um oculus browser and oculus tv are disabled but you can actually access the default oculus browser if you use the main menu instead of using the dashboard Well, as you can see, the default browser works fine, um, but you can also download Firefox Reality and install it via SideQuest. So if you want an alternative browser, there's also such an option, which is pretty cool. I've also tried playing multiplayer games like Hyperdash, and I didn't see any problems. So they seem to work just fine. And just to be clear, we're talking here about standalone capabilities, right? If you want to connect your Quest to a PC, well, you can do that, but you, have, you cannot do that via virtual desktop. You need to use VRidge or AlVR, both of which are site loadable. There's a lot of tutorials on how to set up LVR or VRidge properly, so I'm not going to repeat what's already available. Suffice to say, it works fine, and uh, I don't have a gaming PC, but I could still get Steam VR to recognize my Quest 2 headset, so that's that. So just to summarize, these 
um, test accounts are actually quite functional. You can actually do a lot of stuff without having to use a Facebook account. Well, first of all, it works. So you can kind of unbrick your quest if you've been denied access or banned or whatnot. Secondly, you can also browse using the built-in browser or Firefox Reality. You can install all the apps from the site quest uh, store, including multiplayer apps. I'm guessing Pavlov works fine as well. And last but not least, you should be able to connect to your PC via VRidge or AlVR and stream Steam VR content to your Oculus Quest 2. So that would be all. I hope you find this information useful. And well, happy holidays, everyone. Peace.